Okay, we have a logarithm and they're asking us to simplify it. And we're gonna use pretty much all these properties. And this is gonna be a quite long one. Okay, first of all, let's turn this into an exponent. So log base two for x over y z on the cube and we're gonna put the exponent up there now we're gonna use the power property we're gonna drop it down in the front so one half log base 2 for x over y z on the cube okay now we're gonna use the quotient rule to break this up one half and this one half is gonna multiply this I'm gonna put these brackets around it just so we can keep track easier so quotient rule log base 2 of 4x minus log base 2 of y z cubed there you go now we're gonna use the product rule to break this up and break this up one half log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of x minus and since we're gonna have a negative in the front we're gonna distribute it and this plus will turn into a negative don't forget that in case you run into this situation so log base 2 y plus z log base 2 z cubed but we have this negative we distribute it so we're gonna have a negative in the middle so log base 2 y negative negative log base 2 z on the cube okay okay now let's see can we still do something we can work on this one and we can do some more work on this one these two they are pretty much done okay let's see one half this one we can the four we can rewrite as two on the power of two again we're gonna use the power rule drop the power two in the front and so we're gonna have two times log base two of two and log of b with the base b equals one same situation here so this whole thing is one so two times one will be just two this one this one stays log 2 of x minus log 2 of y and here we're gonna use the power rule minus the 3 comes down in the front here's the power rule or power property 3 in the front log base 2 of z okay now last line let's distribute the one half here we're gonna have two times one so basically just a two one half times two that will be the twos cancel out so it will be just one so one plus one half of log base two x minus one half log base 2 of y minus 3 times 1 half 
so 3 over 2 log base 2 of z and there you go this is our final answer there is nothing else left that we can uh, simplify or reduce